Um, this is Edge Router X. Yes, the Edge Router X. It's a, a cool router. It's a really small router. Um, I feel like this is a step up from consumer routers. You know, you get all this flexibility and power, and you, it's gigabit. It's a uh, and sixty bucks. It is an awesome router. Uh, why use a wired router these days? Most people just locate the wireless router and a router there by the computer, and it's a combo thing. However, that only gives you limited reception. A different approach would be use a wired router and locate your wireless router in a more centralized location. That gives you more continuous coverage around the house. Okay, I want to I want to show this now. Okay, it's on and, top of the TV. And you say this. Uh, here are the ports. Uh, notice they're just labeled Ethernet one, two, three, four. You got power over Ethernet uh, or the uh, standard power thing that comes with it. No ground screw came with it for some reason. Um, and the reason they're just numbered one, two, three, four is it's totally flexible. Normally that flexibility would be uh, kind of scary, but I found this just as easy to set up as you know your standard Linksys off the shelf router. The only thing you have to do, you have to go under uh, network uh, adapter properties and just give yourself a static IP address momentarily so that you can you know, get on that 192.168.11 network. Once you log in, here's the dashboard. It's got some cool looking traffic graphs. You got the green lights for gigabit connections, the orange ones for 100 megabit. And uh, over here, you see the firmware. I've already upgraded that. It came with like 1.6, I upgraded to 1.7. You just hit that little uh, pop-up menu thing. Firmware's there also. You scroll down. You need to go to the website, uh, obviously beforehand, if you're gonna be getting off the network and upload the tar file by clicking that button. and then you'll have the latest, greatest stuff. Wizards are what make it easy to configure. You can do all this stuff through the command line, but this wizard, this WLAN, WLAN plus 2LAN 2, uh, will make it into, you know, like, like any other standard router. Uh, if you click this, use only one LAN, the other ports other than the one that you designate as the WAN act as a switch. So it works like a standard router. Um, I, I just need one LAN. I'm not doing any kind of network segmenting or anything like that with DHCP. Once you do that, you plug in your cable modem, plug in your devices or your switch, and you're good to go. This is where you set up DHCP. You just click any of these things, and they'll jump into this tab pop-up where you can assign, uh, by MAC address, you could assign a, a static IP uh, a mapping. So, like, in other words, all my security cameras, so they'll show up in my security uh, video or my security uh software or, or assigned static IPs and I got 192 left so it's pretty pretty flexible uh, that way. Another cool thing you can do is a command line interface you can launch it you can do SSH or you can just launch it right here from the web UI in your browser and you got the full Linux command line um, you log in with the same uh, user ID and password I suggest changing the password obviously after you get it all configured but uh, you know if you want to do some advanced stuff you can do it here I was actually able to find some uh, you know running some network fiddler tracing programs. I could see it was communicating with an API. I was actually able to find the files for the API and add my own API commands to it, which is probably not supported, but it was pretty cool.